Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I'm going to try this Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen. This is the vegetarian vegetable ramen soup. Um, it is made with organic ramen and rich broth. Yeah, looks, it looks pretty decent. Uh, we bought these for $1.99 at Meyer, so it's, it's on the higher end of ramen, that's for sure. 200 calories for the whole bowl or pot or container, whatever you want to call it. There's information if you want to read it, you can pause it. There's what's on top. Um, mushrooms, Chinese cabbage, fried garlic, and chilies, and bok choy. So directions for this is you um, remove the lid, uh, flavor packet, and oil packet from the cup. Add room temperature water to the fill room, um, usually about one and a half cups. Um, basically microwave it for a minute and a half or until it almost starts to boil over. I mean, you want a rapid boil. I think last time I did one of these, it was like a minute and 50 or something like that. So I'll probably just do a minute and 50, uh, but I'll watch it the whole time. And then once it's done cooking, take it out and pour your flavor pack and the oil pack in there and stir it up the best you can. And then cover um, cup tightly. I usually just put a paper plate on top of it and uh, let it set for six minutes. So I started the lid just so I could get it off easier. So here is the flavor pouch, and here's the oil. So there's the fill line. It is, yeah, you can kind of see it. Maybe you can. It's a little dent right there. So you, I can just barely see it as it is. So anyway, I'm going to put water up to there, get in the microwave, um, put the stuff in there, and let it set, and then I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. Uh, for I did, I did it literally for a minute and 50 seconds, and it was perfect. So here's the seasoning pouch. Looks like it's just a powder. And then I've got the oil pouch, the packet, right here. And how does this open? It usually has, there we go, a little tear thing. So the oil. goes in and you stir it really good take it all the clumps of the seasoning out of there okay and I have a paper plate I'm just gonna sit on top and let it sit for six minutes and then I'll be back all right it's been six minutes it doesn't look any different than it did when I put the seasoning in there it just looks like uh, like an orangey brown colored water so so really that's it and i pulled these one set of noodles up just to kind of let them cool off a little bit the texture of the noodles is good i never know what to do with all these noodles i mean roll them up like spaghetti i mean i don't know there's a little bit of spice to them not a lot but just a little bit that's a good flavor to it. I'm assuming if you ate these with like um, chopsticks, they would be able to, you could grab just a few at a time. Um, for me, I would end up dropping three fourths of them anyway. So <laughs> I'd end up with one little noodle uh, in my chopsticks probably. Because I don't use chopsticks, that's why. Um, these are okay. The flavor is decent. It has just a teeny, 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 bit, tiny bit of a little spice in there. Um, but flavor-wise, it's not bad. It's not, it's not great. They were talking about the different seasonings, like the, the uh, broccoli and the bok choy and stuff like that. I don't see any of that in here. I mean, I'm, I'm stirring at the bottom, trying to pull up whatever's on the bottom. I don't see anything. I see some little green um, specks in there. But yeah, it's supposed to have, what was it supposed to have? Um, mushrooms, no mushrooms. Um, cabbage, fried garlic, and chilies, and bok choy. Uh, you would think you would see mushrooms in here at least, but I don't see anything. Nothing. Nope. And I dumped that whole seasoning pack in there, so it's not like it was in the seasoning pack. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't get any, any extra stuff in here. It's just... Um, like a seasoned 
soup and then uh, the noodles. That's it. So I'm going to give this one a three. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, I think if they put some mushrooms and stuff in there, it would have uh, added a little something to it, at least some different textures and stuff like that. But there is a, uh, there's just nothing in there. I sure, I sure don't see anything in there, Lace. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's a teeny tiny little mushroom in there. Teeny, I mean, it's tiny. That's the only one I see in the whole thing. And you can't taste it. And it doesn't have any really different texture. Either. Yeah, this one's just a three. It's okay, but I think you're... I think the 30 cent ones are just as good as this $2 one. And so if you're trying to save your money or if you want to eat ramen, eat the cheap one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I think this is no better for $2 a ramen a cup is no better than the 30 cent ramen you get out of the cup of soup, the cup, the little styrofoam cups. I think those are just as good. Um, as this there's no they're not they're not worse definitely so um, yeah three just average everyday Norman so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching